What's up guys, today I am refilming some videos because it was way too overexposed. So let's do it. I'm talking about some Levi's jeans that I'm excited to talk about again. I promised this video in a few ones back whenever when I was talking about those jeans I was wearing in London. Didn't bring many pants at all, didn't bring many clothes because I was traveling abroad. And these guys, which I just got off eBay sort of accidentally, which we'll talk about here, are just so beautiful, unaltered, perfect, and I'm here to compare some fits today. This pair is a pair I've had for a while. These are the Levi's 501 fit in this light wash. Don't know what it's called. Got these off eBay secondhand. And then you have what I'm wearing because I'm not holding it today since I deleted the video. <clears throat> Let's compare these two because they're both very similar models. The integration of the zipper, oh my goodness. So along with adding a zipper, the rise is a little bit shorter, which you guys know I love my high rise. We'll talk about that here soon. And then the pant is a bit narrower as you move down the leg. Take a look at those comparison clips and decide which one is more your style, which one is a little bit better for you. Here's what happened to me. I had this 501 pair for a while and just wanted one in a black wash. Took to eBay, hunted some down, bought them and the seller messaged me the next day saying, oh, I lost those jeans, but I have a very similar pair of jeans. Would you like those jeans, jean jeans? And I just asked for some measurements for some pictures, asked for what the difference was, because I didn't even know, and he explained it. Did some research, and they're beautiful. If anything, these guys right here fit me a little bit better. Not to mention, really, really generous of the seller, because it isn't what I bought, even though it turned out great, is he gave me $15 off, which is pretty much half of a pair of jeans secondhand. It's also always just a great thing giving a second life to a pair of jeans like this because denim is one of the worst textiles. Not even textiles, it's just one of the worst things that we make with how water intensive, energy intensive, the chemicals that go into it in the dyeing process. And it's insane that we can go into H&M or Zara and buy a pair for $10, crazy. Anyway, a fun comparison here are some light wash jeans. So this pair is a pair that I thrifted and at the thrift stores in Missouri, it's usually 34 to 40 something inch waist. Crazy, crazy big. These, when I was looking for a light wash pair of jeans, are probably about a 35 inch waist or something, which is just huge on me because I'm about a 30. What I ended up doing was tapering them, bringing them in from the knee down or maybe a bit higher down. And I just brought it in way too close. Not only is it just too narrow for my taste, but when you come up here and you see this waist that's way too big for me, it turns into a lot of space in the thighs and then gets so narrow down below. What is that fish's name? That fish's name in SpongeBob, Flanders. Whoever the bully was, that's the shape that's gonna give you, like a Dorito. Also, I just prefer the other light wash. When you get in close here, there's a lot of contrast between this very royal blue and this white uh, to the weave, which gives you a really, really true uh, dad jean color if you're worried about that, but I think it's just a little bit harsh and hard to look at and ugh. A cool story that maybe is a little more interesting than my eBay sales experience is how jeans came to be. So in the gold rush, which first of all, let me just go ahead and say, five to 10 times I've heard from my professors, when there's a gold rush, buy, that's not even what professors sound like. I don't know what professors sound like. 
when there's a gold rush, you wanna buy shovels and picks, or you wanna sell shovels and picks, don't pan for gold, get into the business of buying shovels and picks. Well, that is exactly what Levi's came out of. They were the first denim jeans brand. And what they did was when there was the gold rush and we were wearing our khakis, panning for gold and in the mines, they were getting all torn up, weren't lasting long, decided that it would be a little bit more durable. And here we are today, Levi's is a multi-billion dollar company. Anyway, I'll leave some links down in the description in regards to these fits and washes, the ones I'm wearing, and maybe some other options too, but that's kind of it. I really wanted to give you a good comparison to check these out if you're interested. Love them, they fit me, my body type, uh, my style really well, so maybe it's something you'd be interested in. But until next time, everyone do me one last favor. Have a good day for me. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.